Good afternoon. Today, we installed a 5,000 BTU window air conditioner in a 23-foot motorhome, and it's 23 feet from bumper to bumper. So if you actually look at the living space in there, it's probably around 17 or 18 feet, and it's less than eight feet wide. So it's um, probably right around 150 square feet, and that's what these 5,000 BTUs are rated for, 150 square feet. So we have those two 330 watt mono panels and we actually have a um, deep cycle solar specific, it's called light catcher solar specific, um, non-spillable um, AGM battery. And these are 12 volt, 100 amp hour. And the cycle charge voltage, you can go 14.4 to 15 volts and on the float charge, you can go 13.5 to 13.8. So these are, you can go higher voltage on these things. And uh, they have uh, thicker plates on them. So they're better than those cheap Walmart batteries that I had. Um, these were around 200 bucks when I bought them. So, and we have that Harbor Freight inverter. And we have the Feng Pusin charge controller. And we, you can see we're plugged in right there. And we're using around 540 watts right now. And that's coming straight off of our solar panels into that charge controller. So we've been running this for about two hours. And it was around 82, 83 degrees inside the motorhome. And if we go around here... It's like 90, 92, 93 degrees outside is what it says on my phone for the temperature. There's the motorhome size. It's 23 feet from bumper to bumper. Like I said, it's like 17 or 18 feet from here back. And it's less than eight square feet. So if we go in here, like I said, we were right around 82, 83 degrees earlier. And right now here, so this 87 out, but that's in the on the belt back patio is where the wireless is for this. It says 74 degrees in here. So actually, right now, the um, temperature in the back for this Wi-Fi right here is 74 degrees. That's number two. Or that's number one. I'm sorry. That's number one. And this one is the number two. So back there, it's 74 degrees. And on the bottom one here, it says it's 71. And that's right here. And that's coming across the um, things blowing up towards the ceiling to cool us off. But it's keeping it nice and comfortable in here at 74 degrees. Even if it was 78, um, 79 degrees, maybe 80 degrees, it'd still be comfortable in here. And I, I can't find my um, decibel meter, but this thing's probably only putting off like about 40, 44, 46 decibels. It's really quiet. And it's um, much quieter than the uh, um, Odin generator that runs this thing. Um, so, and actually... We have a little solar panel up on the roof and on the solar charge controller. This one over here that came with it um, actually broke. And I'm trying to remember where it was. It was over here somewhere. But anyways, I had to put this one on. It was like 15 bucks on um, Amazon. But it's just, it's a solar panel smaller than this glass top right here, the size of the glass top. So, but it keeps my AGM deep cycle battery for my lights that I'm running in here right now um, charged up at 13 to 14.2 volts. So it constantly keeps it charged up. The nice thing about that is, is if my battery for my engine dies, there's a button underneath the hood. I mean, underneath the dashboard, I can press it and it gets contact with the battery down here for the generator to start the generator and i can use that in an emergency to start the vehicle so but just want to do a video and show you that uh this thing is um 
really doing well. It's not it's a very confined space in here. And, um, oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to have my thumb in there. And it is really doing a good job in here of keeping this cool. So you can uh, run the air conditioner as long as you have sun on those solar panels. Now, at nighttime, you're not going to be able to run that on that AGM or a Walmart deep cycle battery. It's, you, you're just not going to have the depth of uh, discharge you need. But if you have like some server rack batteries, uh, you could, that are like five kilowatt, this thing uses 500 watts an hour. You could probably pretty much get through the, the night on running one of those and it's going to cool down at night so this is on high right now and i could probably turn this down to halfway and it'd probably be about 300 watts so i could definitely get through the whole night on this um on a lithium iron phosphate battery so and i'll show you what those look like So, the server rack batteries, um, these are these are 48 volt. They, these are 48 volt. They're considered a 48 volt system, but they're actually 51.2 volts, 100 amp hour storage, and 5120 watt storage on those. So, those you, if you had a 48 volt inverter, but that's a 12 volt inverter that I have, I could hook four of those. I could hook four of these batteries up in series and give me 48 volts and then i could uh, actually i could i got 24 volt inverters over there that are 2400 watt that i could just hook two batteries up in series to give me 24 volts or i could take two sets of those hook them up in series to get 24 volts and then parallel those together and i'd have um 4,000 uh, watt hours, but I can only run these batteries down to like 12 volts from like 13.2 when it's fully charged. So as were these, I can run these down to 20% of the 5120. Uh, I can run those down to, I think around 40, 42 or 44 volts. Um, I never would get close to it, but, um, and you can charge these things at like 100 amps. <laughs> if you want to quick charge them, I do that once in a while, and they handle it very well. But usually you want to charge these things at like, um, um, you know, maybe 30 to 80 amps. Um, but, you know, if you have, if you have three of the batteries like I do in there, you could do 90 amps and go 30 amps to each one of those batteries. So now these battery Evo batteries over here, these are 12 volts. I could actually do all four of these in parallel and that would give me eight kilowatts and um, 100 and, they're 150 amp hours each. Um, so in parallel, that would be, I think 600 amp hours because in series, it's only 150 amp hours. It's still 8 point kilowatt, but I think when you go in, in um, parallel on those, you go up on your uh, amp hours. Yeah, I believe it. It'd be like um, 600 amp hours on those because they're 150 each. As we're like, you can get these server rack batteries and this 5120 volt is 100 amp hours. But if you get a 12 volt, that would be 400 amp hours. So yeah, you'd have 600 amp hours. I could easily run that thing if I threw all four of those things in the motorhome in the um, cargo storage area, put them in parallel, and ran a ran them over to the um, um, wire up some um, wire to a plug over there or something, so I could plug that thing in. Be real easy to do, but that would definitely get me through the whole night, um, no problem at all. But I um, have these AGM batteries, like I said, these are solar specific. They have 
extra thick plates in them so you can really um, take these down on charge and charge them up and they take it as where the Walmart battery where I was using those tend to um, they're not as good as these these that Walmart battery was like 90 bucks these were 200 bucks a piece so I do have 16 of these and eight of them are already spoken for and supposed to be someone coming over today to buy those but I have eight left if anybody's interested please email me or message me through um, the YouTube channel and I'll let you know what the price is so I wanted to do a video and show you that that uh, now I wouldn't leave this air conditioner in here while I was driving I would take it out but it is really solid in there so you know the bracket was 39 bucks over at Home Depot this morning and this foam board that I use is uh, it was like six dollars and eighty six cents I believe and the leftover that I cut out for this part I've actually put up in that window there to kind of insulate it and then there's that curtain here and a curtain over there so yeah this thing even on the outside is like less than 50 decibels it's really quiet got it at Aldi's <laughs> so um really like it because it's really small so if I went up to a 6,000 BTU I'd probably be going up to around 700 maybe between seven and 800 watts and that's kind of pushing it because these are this um, two 330 watt panels keeps that charged up but I I'd be over on that if I only had those two panels and that charge controllers only going to handle those two panels uh, if it was 24 volts if I had two batteries in series and made that 24 volts then I could use I think four 330 watt panels I you know I could actually use three panels that would give me 990 watts almost a thousand watts and I could run it on there I just have to put two of those batteries in series so and that thing Poussin charge controller would be able to auto sense whether it's 12 or 20 but then I'd have to get a 24 volt inverter and that's a 12 volt inverter so I could not use that same inverter so that's why I'm using that because I had those I have two of those inverters that I first started out with solar but I'm going to take and um, paint this foam black to match the trim and the window that's tinted on the outside and on the inside and then it they'll look actually nice it won't stand out too much but hey you know what I can run the air conditioner all day long and if I get one of those server rack batteries or I use those um, battery evil batteries I can put those in parallel and run those things all night long a five kilowatt battery or those four evos would do the trick overnight and I'd be able to charge the um, charge it up during the day because I really probably wouldn't use the air conditioner until like maybe 10 or 11 o'clock so the first couple hours of the sunlight in the morning I would be able to charge my battery back up anyways please like share subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell and I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day see you next video